I have two zoo poems. So this is In the Zoo, Ex Ungue Leonem, from the claw of the whole lion. On such a day, and this is from my book, Inside Out, Upside Down, and Round and Round. On such a day as this in hot July, when moistness slides around us everywhere, and sunshine pours down like the rain and moistens us the same, the place to be for cool refreshment is the zoo in Philadelphia. The zoo at feeding time among the cats just at the peak of their ill humors and that space of time when thoughts turn to the midday meal is where and when I found myself with Jill this hot day in July, too hot to handle and too close. On such a day as this one tastes the air. Fat quivering steaks were set for them. The sexy cheetah prancing in, the slutty sable panther pards, the testy restive tiger tots, the jaguar, leopard, ocelot, and good American cougar, each their slimy prey all set for them. But in her cage, the lioness named Agnes lay behind her stake and licked and licked by increments a path, immaculate, germ-free, and didn't pounce nor touch her stake until the space inside her cage around the stake was purified. Lustrational, she lay at least some seven feet behind her prey and circumlicked her dining space. It took a while. We watched her lick and lick and clean and lick around. Both Jill and I know Agnes well, the obsessive, compulsive lioness. On such a day as this, one tastes the air, too hot to handle, and too close. Thank you. And this, uh, that's a true story, and this is another true story about a zoo set here in New York City. Outside the zoo, one. In Central Park, Manhattan's peristelium, while walking just outside the children's zoo, along with Barbara. We came upon a woman on a bench, tough looking and old and dressed in a house dress. As we approached, she belched the deepest belch we'd ever heard. Two, a little boy was also on the bench. He slowly turned his head from the pigeons on the ground and said excitedly, Grandma, that was you. <laughs> and in a tone, as deep as her deep belch, Grandma intoned, No, es paloma. <laughs> when in doubt, just blame the pigeons. My sister lives in Houston, and luckily she's been spared the devastation. I mean, she has a lot of rain, but she's not flooded out yet, and I hope never. Um, so I'll do uh, this hurricane poem. It's about a hurricane that really had a big effect on this area. It's called Santa is Coming. One. Sandy is Sandy. Watery, wet. San sandy surges and causes surges at the causeway. The berm is broken. Water wets. White caps wave at you. Sand sits in your living room six feet high. Surrounded, town surrounded, water underwater, wet, why? Two, Santa equals Sandy. Three, Sandy blows, and she has an app to fuck you up the ass. Sandy blasts, Sandy blasts, pines pitch, bend, winds wail, oaks, maples, all fall, fill, flood. Power pulses, taps out. Psst. Psst. Live longer in fill in the blank. Thank you. <laughs>